Captain's log, 53343.7. The Enterprise has been ordered to return to Outpost 40 inside the anomalous region of space known as the Briar Patch. Nine months ago, we aided the peaceful Baku race against the aggressions of a rebellious faction of their people known as the Sonar. They sought to drain the life-giving energy in the metaphasic rings of the planet. After their plan failed, the Sonar asked their Baku brethren if they could return to the planet and create their own colony. During construction of the new colony, evidence was found that an extremely ancient race had once existed on the planet. At the request of the Baku, I have been asked to lead an excavation of the ruins while the Enterprise undergoes routine maintenance at Outpost 40. Ensign Sovak's personal log. Originally, I thought my assignment on Outpost 40 was the worst I could have received after graduating from Starfleet Academy. Things may be looking up, though. Not only is the Starship Enterprise coming to the station, but I have been assigned to pilot Captain Picard himself to the Baku planet. This could be my chance to be reassigned. I've been so anxious that I haven't been able to sleep, so I'm practicing my holodeck programs for a few hours. Computer, access training program 01. Program initiated. Greetings, Master Satan. Ah, pupil, you have returned to your training. Yes, patron. I think this will be the time I finally grasp the discipline. Hmm, indeed. Then you would be one of the few humans who has mastered the Vulcan nerve pinch. Very well. Apply the pinch on the neck of that guard there. Your fingers must press on the specific areas of the neck in the proper sequence. Yes, I did it! Despite your human emotional outburst, you have completed your Vulcan training and honored the memory of your biological parents. Live long and prosper, my ward. Peace and long life, patron. Computer, initiate training program 02. Program initiated. Use your phaser to disable the robot drones. Ensign Sovak, please report to Shuttle Bay 2 for scheduled flight duty. Ensign's log, supplemental. For the past six hours, I have assisted Captain Picard at the alien ruins beneath the Sona colony. From what we have determined, the race had lived on this planet five billion years ago. Picard to Ensign Sovak. Report to me at the excavation site immediately. I've uncovered something that needs to be analyzed. On my way, sir. Hello. You must be Ensign Sovak. I am Galna. Nice to meet you, Galna. You are the leader of this colony? It seems that I am one of the few trusted by both the Sona and Baku, so the burden of leading this colony has fallen on my shoulders. Has your position been difficult? Despite our common heritage, there is still mistrust between the Baku and the Sona. It is my duty to ensure that this colony remains peaceful. Have there been any conflicts between the Baku and the Sona since you have returned to settle on the planet? A few isolated, minor altercations. There are some Sona that are still resentful that the Baku exiled us so long ago, denying them the youth-preserving properties of the planet's metaphasic energy but I have confidence that our people will soon be one again. Thank you for your time, Golna. A pleasure to meet you, Ensign Sova. Live long and prosper.
Greetings and welcome to our village. I am Anij. Hello, Anij. I am Ensign Sovak. Ah, you are the one assisting Jean-Luc at the ruins. I had hoped to be more of a help at the excavation, however my duties have kept me quite busy. What are your duties? I volunteered to assist the Sona with the construction of their colony. How are you assisting the Sona? To help them adjust to this world as best as possible. Although we Baku seek a simple life, the Sona embrace technology. So, we are allowing the Sona to access the machines within an old Baku research facility we buried long ago. Soon their colony will be thriving and self-sufficient. Well, I know you're busy, so I'll let you return to your work. It was a pleasure meeting you. Thank you, Sovak, and be well. Goodbye, Anish. We'll let him scour the ruins. Surely Captain Picard will find it. Ah, a Starfleet officer. I'm Urano. What brings you to our little colony? I'm Ensign Sovak. I am assisting Captain Picard at the excavation site. Perhaps, if there's time, some Sona could help us examine the ruins. I'm afraid that's not possible, young one. We have limited resources to allocate for the development of this colony. I see. I apologize for interrupting your work. Very well, Ensign. I continue my work here, I want you to take this relic to Commander Data for analysis. Understood, sir. Ensign, you have been given an order. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Captain Picard asked me to deliver this to you. Thank you, Ensign. There is an advanced ceramic microcircuitry system within the talisman. Intriguing. Data to Captain Picard. Yes, Mr. Data. I trust Ensign Sovok delivered the talisman. What did your analysis determine? The talisman is similar to the relic you recovered yesterday. The organization of the talisman's ceramic circuitry indicates that it might be a device used to emit high energy frequencies. Who's there? Identify yourself. Data, I'm under attack at the ruins. The captain is in danger and we must assist. Ensign, follow me to the excavation site. Ensign's log supplemental. Captain Picard has been attacked in the ruins by unknown assailants. Commander Data has ordered me to follow him to the excavation site and assist the captain. Ensign, the Sona have erected a shield array around sections of the colony. My analysis indicates that they are serially linked and controlled from a single source. Find and deactivate the shield array, and I will be able to bring down the shield at my location. Yes, sir. I'll look for the shield array immediately.
Ensign Sovak to Commander Data. Ensign, the force field is down. Come to the excavation site. We must continue our search for the captain. Ensign Sovak, over here. Commander Data, did those Sona attack the captain? Unknown. I assume by their aggressive posture that they were involved. Let us try to use the element of surprise against them. I will attract their fire while you take cover and incapacitate them. Yes, sir. You think our friends here were involved with Captain Picard's disappearance? You know these Sona? They are friends of yours? No, Commander. Uh, uh, it was a figure of speech. They're uh, not really my friends. Ah, oh, your usage of the word friends was implying sarcasm. Henceforth, I will assume most of your diction is sarcastic. Well, uh, yes, sir. Let us continue our search for the captain. Ensign Sovak to Captain Picard or Commander Data. Can anyone respond? Sovak, this is Captain Picard. Where are you? It's hard to describe, sir. Commander Data and I activated the alien transporter and we were separated. I'm not sure where I am now. I activated the transporter when the sonar attacked me, so I assume they have been scattered somewhere down here as well. Have you made contact with Data? Not yet, sir. My apologies for not communicating earlier, Captain. I had to evade a sonar patrol. Data, are you all right? Yes, sir. For an unknown reason, the alien device that transported both you and the Ensign ignored my presence. It is possible that the device had difficulty recognizing my artificial body as a suitable candidate for transport. As a result, I am still in the colony. Data, stay in the colony and monitor the sonar as closely as you can. Ensign, your orders are to explore your area and to report any substantial findings you discover immediately. We must all work together so that we can regroup quickly. Aye, sir. Aye, sir. Those creatures, they're trapped in some sort of stasis force field. I wonder what this place was used for. Ensign Sovak to Captain Picard. Status, Ensign. Hostile creatures attacked me without provocation, and I was forced to defend myself. I haven't encountered any beings yet, but I will be on my guard. Do your best to make contact with any peaceful beings, but defend yourself if attacked. Continue your search, and be careful, Ensign. Aye, sir. I am Ensign Sovak of the United Federation of Planets. I am searching for another person who transported here, Captain Jean-Luc Picard. I sense others. They are far. I cannot help you like this. The Undercity is... too weak. As am I. Must draw life power back into planet must restore the metaphasic conductors. I can aid you then. 
I will do what I can, Zatal. Where are these conductors? Use the portals to go. Restore metaphasic flow. Must go now, child. Ensign, to Captain Picard, I've made first contact with an alien entity. Someone is communicating with you. I, sir, a being known as Zatal, has asked me to activate a conductor device that sounds like some global power source. With the conductors active, she may be able to help us. This sounds like our best opportunity to learn more about this culture and discover a way out. Proceed, Ensign. Find these conductors and activate them if you can. Aye, sir. Steam exhaust vents don't look passable. I'd be cooked in seconds. Succeeded. The conductors once again bring life to the core of the planet. With the conductors active, can you help me find Captain Picard? It is possible, child, but difficult for me. In truth, I am trapped in a stasis field in my own lab. Why are you trapped? I am the last of a race that doomed itself with arrogance. We sought to manipulate our genes to better ourselves far beyond normal evolution. But we simply accelerated our own extinction. I was placed in stasis by my colleagues who hoped that one day I would find a cure. But in my prison, I can do nothing but remember. If you came to my lab, there are devices here that could help you find your captain. Ensign to Captain Picard. I've noticed activity in my area. Machines and lights are activating around me. You turned on the conductors? Aye, sir. Zatal also contacted me again and told me that there are devices in her lab that could help us find each other. Excellent work, Ensign. Find her lab and report back to me. I will continue to explore from my area. Picard out. Ensign's log supplemental. The scientist Zatal has informed me that certain devices in her lab will help me locate the captain Captain Picard has therefore ordered me to find Zatal's lab. Ensign Sovak to Commander Data. I have activated the conductors. Excellent. Continue your search for Captain Picard. I have learned that the Sona rebels are being led by Urano. They have almost captured the entire colony and are marshalling their troops at the market area. 
data out. You summon me again, child. What do you want to know? Tell me about these conductors. The conductors tap into the metaphasic rings surrounding the planet. The energy is drawn into the conductors and sent into the metaphasic pools and rivers that flow beneath this world. Metaphasic power courses through the Undercity, creating and sustaining life. Sovak, what would you like to know? Tell me about this place. You stand within the Institute. Long ago, it was a center of knowledge. It was our last hope during the Xenophor War. A war? Is that why you were the last of your people? In our vain pursuit of perfection, we created the Xenophor Seed, a genetic structure which we thought would uplift all of us. However, a flaw developed in the seed that attempted to turn its host into a xenophore creature. The xenophore spawned countless abominations, ravaging our cities and preventing us from finding a cure. We stopped them, but at a terrible cost. Ensign Sovak to Captain Picard. I found another talisman on a Sona warrior. It could lead me closer to Zital's area. I have just found a talisman that might lead me closer to your location. Once I determine the correct combination for the portal, I will contact you from another region, hopefully near your position. Good luck, Captain. Critters seem to love that hot steam. Zatal. Yes, Sovak. You are very close now. This area that you are in is the grotto. It is primal, raw life itself. Everything around you seethes with metaphasic energy. Despite my mistakes, life has found a way here. There is some comfort in that, at least. Come, Sovak. I am eager to meet you.
Sovak. They arrived just before you. Flee while you can. Zatal? This is a delightful surprise. I am Admiral Rotok. What are you doing? Release Zatal. The chase for the secrets of the universe begins and ends here. This wretch is all that's left of a race of gods. We have decoded your message and your warnings, Atal, hidden in our own DNA. And we have come for the Xenophore Seed. Xenophore Seed? We destroyed it. But in the end, it destroyed us. Thankfully, it no longer exists to plague you, our descendants. Wrong, old one. There is one source of the seed left. You cannot. You don't understand what that organism can do. Rejoice, old one. Your death means the birth of the new Romulan hegemony. Captain, a group of Romulans led by Admiral Ratok attacked Zatal. They killed her to obtain an organism called the Xenophore Seed, the same thing that destroyed her people long ago. That is disturbing news. If the Romulans manage to turn the seed into a weapon, the galaxy is endangered. We must redouble our efforts to find each other, and then we will pursue the Romulans and recover the seed. There's a monitor in Zatal's lab. It's showing me your location. You appear to be in a steam-filled cavern. Yes, I just used a portal to arrive in a steam chamber somewhere in the Institute. There is a bridge to another area, but it is blocked by scalding steam. I will need your assistance to get across. Hurry, Ensign. Much is at stake. Ensign's log supplemental. Romulans have killed the scientists at all. While in Zatal's lab, I used a monitoring device to locate Captain Picard. My current orders are to help him cross a bridge blocked by steam. Picard, these steam vents are generating tremendous amounts of heat. That nearby platform could be a power source for the steam exhaust system. If we could temporarily inhibit that device, perhaps the steam would cease and I could get across. Aye, sir.
Ingenious solution, Selbach. Now we must track down the Romulans who stole the seed. I have a talisman that I believe will return us to the surface. Picard to Commander Data. Yes, Captain. We're on our way to a portal that should return us to the surface. What is the situation in the colony? Sona rebels using cloaking suits have captured the colony and imprisoned the colonists somewhere on the upper terrace. I have modified my tricorder to emit tachyon bursts, which inhibit nearby cloaking fields and should temporarily reveal cloaked Sona warriors. Very good, Commander. That will give us a fighting chance against the sonar. Meet us at the excavation site. We will be there shortly. Picard out. Aye, sir. Ensign, let's head to the nearest portal. I've had quite enough archaeology for today. Back in the colony, the transport worked. Captain Picard, Ensign Sovak, it is fortunate that the two of you have returned safely. Very good to see you too, Mr. Data. Now then, Starfleet must be made aware of what is happening here. Someone must take the shuttle to Outpost 40 and return with the Enterprise. With all due respect, Captain, I would like to request permission to stay and help. I believe I would be a greater asset to you here. Captain, perhaps it is best if I take the shuttle. I will be able to reach the outpost approximately 4.8 minutes faster than a human pilot. In addition, I have space combat experience with a shuttlecraft, and the sonar are likely to have patrols in the briar patch. Very well, Data. Take the shuttle. Ensign Sovak and I will stay here to search for the seed. Yes, Captain. Ensign, we will split up and each search different areas of the colony. I will go to the upper terraces while you search the lower main colony. There are many cloaked sonar, so modify your tricorder to emit tachyon bursts. Aye, sir. In order to save the colonists, we will need to neutralize the cloaking advantage of the sonar. There must be a power source for the cloaking suit, sir. Hollow tower hidden in the colony. Find the hollow tower and disable it. And contact me should you discover any information regarding the seed's whereabouts. Yes, Captain. Now that we have dealt with the Sona who would not join us, we can take over the rest of this planet. Our new Captain Picard. Status, Ensign. I have spotted a large force of cloaked Sona warriors around the market. Please advise. 
Stovok, your situation sounds dangerous. Retreat from that area immediately. We need to remove their cloaking advantage before we can move against them. I freed several sympathetic Baku and Sonar, and they have indicated that the rest of the prisoners are being held inside a cloaked bunker. So find that hollow emitter and knock it out quickly. Yes, Captain. Ensign Sovak out. Ensign Sovak to Captain Picard. Yes, Ensign. Captain, I found what I believe to be coordinates for a hidden base in the Briar Patch. The seed may have been taken there. Very good, Ensign. I have discovered where the Sonar and Baku colonists are being held. If you can disable the hollow emitter, I can go in and free the prisoners. Yes, sir. Consider it done. Sovok, you did it. I'm infiltrating the bunker to go free the rest of the prisoners. I've been informed that Yorano is leading the Sonar Rebellion and is hiding in the market area. Make your way to the market and do not let him escape. We will then regroup at the research facility. Aye, sir. I underestimated you, Ensign, as you have underestimated me by confronting me here. You will regret interfering with my plans. Say it, Pusshead, you're going down. Ensign Sovak to Captain Picard. Ensign Sovak, the colony is almost secure. We are at the research facility. Hurry to our position. Jean-Luc, the ship is ready to launch. Ship? 
What ship? You're standing in a Baku starship, young man. We tucked it away three centuries ago, but we never thought it would be needed again. It is needed, Anige. If what we've learned about the Seed is true, the entire galaxy could be in grave danger. We'll depart immediately for the coordinates you found, Sobok. Slowing to impulse, Jean-Luc. If they brought the seed here, they chose their location well. This nebula is full of anomalous metaphasic pockets. It would be quite easy to conceal a small base here. There! That's it! A space station! Have they detected us? I'm afraid they have. Anish Galler and I will stay aboard to deal with the warbird. Ensign, I'll transport you onto the station. Sensors have pinpointed an unshielded cargo bay. Sovak, take my cloaking device. It will serve to mask your presence. Stealth will be your advantage, so you should make every effort to avoid unnecessarily dangerous confrontations. Make contact when you bypass the cargo bay and reach the next level. Aye, sir. Ensign's log, supplemental. Captain Picard has ordered me to infiltrate a Romulan space station in order to find the seed. He has advised me to avoid confrontations whenever possible. There's no scheduled maintenance in that airlock. I swear, ever since they brought that thing aboard, this place has become haunted. I'm really starting to dislike Romulans. Way to level two. Very good, Sobok. But the battle out here is not going well. There is a Metrion gas pocket that I can enter to evade the warbird, so we will not be able to communicate for the time being. Continue your search and find the seed as swiftly as possible. It looks like my suit is malfunctioning, sir. So much for sonar engineering. 
since you no longer have the veil of stealth, you must use whatever means necessary to find the seed. Ready your weapon, Ensign, and guard yourself well. Yes, sir. Good luck, Captain. Ensign's Log, Supplemental. I have entered the upper levels of the Romulan Station. While Captain Picard battles Romulan warbirds, I have been assigned to find the alien seed and destroy it. section doesn't look completed yet, but I should be safe in these environmental fields. Away. I am Ensign Sovak of the Federation. A Federation officer. I am Nadal. You must help me stop this madness. I'll help you, but first you should explain what's going on here. A rogue Romulan admiral named Ratak brought me here to work on a terrible project to revive an alien seed. What is this seed? The seed is an organism capable of exponential self-replication. In a matter of hours, it will spawn enough xenophores to destroy everything. This organism must be completely destroyed. When I realized what Ratak was planning, I began creating a denaturing agent that theoretically could stop the seed. Ensign Sovak to Captain Picard. I can't speak long, Ensign. Things are not going well out here. Captain! That last attack ruptured our warp drive. It appears the Romulans are not looking for our surrender. So what my last order as captain is for you to... Enterprise, three to beam up. Ensign, the Enterprise is beamed us safely aboard. What is your status? Captain, the seed has been activated. Spawn creatures have already begun swarming the station. I've encountered a Romulan scientist named Nadal. Nadal may be able to create a weapon against the seed, but he needs help. You must protect the scientist at all costs. His assistance could be invaluable. Do whatever is necessary to help Nadal create the weapon. Once we have dealt with the warbird, we will return to the station. The guard out. I will need a genetic sample of the seed to help me finish the weapon. I will retrieve the sample and return here immediately. Take this access card. It may allow you to get into the science facility, unless they have changed my access.
witness to the birth of a perfect being. I am now one with the seed. Ritak, you've made a mistake. The seed is dangerous. We can still save you. Who? You and that coward Nidal? He will be dead soon. I have already sent a slayer to deal with his meddling. Help me stop this, Ritak. Stop it? <laughs> Impossible. You are witnessing the resurgence of the galaxy's deadliest life forms. I was meant to wield this power. I've had enough of your rhetoric, Ritak. This insanity ends here. Inducer arm deactivating. Thank you, Sovak. That creature, it was sent to stop me. But Ratak is too late. I have completed the weapon. Now we still have a chance. If you can inject this genetic agent into the seed, it will be destroyed. Consider it done. Ensign's log, supplemental. Along with Nadal and the other Romulan survivors, I have beamed aboard the Enterprise where I have been ordered to sickbay for examination. I am hoping that if I loiter around long enough or feign a really bad injury, Captain Picard will ask me to stay aboard the Enterprise. Well, Ensign, you were pretty bruised up, but you should be fine. Try to take it easy for the next few days. Ensign, you're free to go. You sure I'm okay? Can I stay on the Enterprise for a while and uh, recuperate? No, Sovak. You're fine.
anyone respond? What is the situation? We are sending security teams to sickbay immediately. Ensign Sovak here, sir. I'm on the sickbay deck. Sovak, report Ensign. Sir, the aliens spawn. They're on board. They disguise themselves as Romulans. We're getting reports of attacks from all over the ship. It appears they might be heading for main engineering. Make your way to engineering. We'll send security teams there immediately. Aye, sir. to Ensign Sobok. Yes, sir. Ensign, we have determined that the energy signature in the warp core is alien. Data believes that the intruders might be recreating a new seed in the warp core. We have no recourse but to eject the core to save the Enterprise. Commander Data will instruct you on how to initiate the ejection process. To override the command lockout, you must manually initiate the ejection sequence using the three control consoles. First, Input the following access code to initiate the sequence. 35, 40, 23, 6. Once you have accessed the ejection program, deactivate the dilithium reactor chamber. Finally, go to the main console and release the antimatter injectors. This will manually override the containment programs and propel the warp core into space. Commander Data. Input the following access code to initiate the sequence. 35, 40, 23, 6. Ensign Sovak to Captain Picard. I've entered the ejection sequence. Excellent work, Ensign. Now, complete the remaining operations to eject the warp core.
Ensign Sovak to Captain Picard. I've deactivated the dilithium core. Excellent work, Ensign. Now, complete the remaining operations to eject the warp core. back to the bridge. You did it, Ensign Sobok. Master Satan, I don't know what's going to happen to me now. I want to stay on the Enterprise. Ensign Sovak, report to Captain Picard's quarters. Logic dictates that our destinies are forged by our actions. I sense that your fate has just been shaped. Ensign Sovak reporting as ordered, sir. We saved a seat for you, Lieutenant. <laughs> 